What do you do when a bass blows up on a topwater bait? Set the hook. Hey guys and girls, we're about to use this month up uh, March the 30th. Uh, our catch of the day for March the 30th is going to come out of the book of Psalms. Psalm 17. No, excuse me, Psalm 37 7. <laughs> 37 7. It's a shorty. One, two, three, four, five words. Wait and trust the Lord. Wait and trust the Lord. That's a pretty simple job, but that's really all we got to do is just wait and trust the Lord. I won a bass and race tournament at Disney World in Orlando while teamed up with Bobby Allison, the great NASCAR legend. Bobby's a terrific fisherman, especially with plastic worms, which is what we caught our fish on midway through that tournament morning. Early that day, however, they were tearing up a pawpaw. I mean, they were blowing up big time on that bait. But they were usually missing the bait on the first strike and not getting hooked until the second or the third strike. These were dynamite blow-ups. When the bass struck, Bobby set the hook every single time. When the bass struck, he set the hook. He made up for it a little later with worms, and he, we caught a limit. We caught a really big limit. We also won the tournament, and we caught the big bass. When you're fishing a topwater bait, you never set the hook until you actually feel the bass. Much like fishing a spinner bait or a worm or jig or anything else, you don't really set the hook until you feel the fish. So when you have a fish blow up on a topwater bait, a lot of times they blow up, and the bait can actually disappear because they miss the bait and the swirl sucks the bait down under, just like flushing a toilet or something. So you don't want to ever set the hook on a topwater bait until you actually feel that fish. So keep working the topwater bait, he blows up on it. If you don't feel him on there, don't jerk. And if he misses it, if you keep working it, he'll generally come back and strike it again and again and again. Sometimes three or four strikes before they actually get it. Works the exact same way on a frog also. Do not set that hook until you feel that fish. Don't set it on that blow up, it's hard to do. And Bobby couldn't do it. Bobby, Bobby just could not do it. He just, uh, he just had a, he, he would jerk every time. He just got so excited he would jerk every single time. But he made up for it that afternoon. Like I said, he caught his five fish limit, and we actually caught the big fish of the tournament and won the tournament. We all get impatient with God at times. When you know what a powerful God that he really is, you come to expect miracles from him pretty much all the time. I know I do. But be patient because it's his miracles and it's his timetable. Wow. Okay, here's our tip for the day. The longer you pause a jerk bait, the more strikes you generally get. I think I talked about this actually on a tip the other day. I just kind of thrown it in on another tip, but mostly this happens when the water's really, really cold. You know, our water's warmed up a lot, pretty much all over the south right now. You can kind of forget about the situation of having to let a jerk bait set very long, but when the weather's cold and the water's cold, you know, jerk a jerk bait down and stop and pause. Just let it sit there. How long should you let it sit there? Just as long as you can. And then let it sit there a little bit longer. Would you just say, uh, I can't stand it, I can't stand it? And let it sit there a little bit longer. And many times it's the difference between catching fish and not catching fish. It's absolutely something that's essential. Now, as you begin to get into the warmer weather that we're getting into now in most of the parts of the country, you can actually not let that bait sit there very long at all. In fact, you can almost just constantly jerk it. As a matter of fact, probably we're not too far away from if you're gonna fish a jerk bait, quit fishing the suspended jerk baits and go to the jerk bait because when you stop them, they start to back back up toward the top of the water. Because the warmer the water gets, that's when you want to transition over from a suspended jerk bait to a floating jerk bait. Hey guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. Springtime fishing is dynamite all over the country right now. They even start to catch them up in the North Country. That's right. Have you a good one. I love you.